It was a spring morning at the bustling restaurant where Sophia worked. She was excited to start the day, greeting customers with a smile on her face and dedicating herself to her work with vigor. She was a friendly young woman with long brown hair and dark brown eyes that radiated kindness. Always with a smile on her face, she made a point of treating all customers with attention and gentleness. That day, Sophia had a special sparkle in her eyes, as she was finally going to meet her boyfriend Elliot Meyer's family at a special dinner at their home. She was in love with him, and the fact that he was introducing her to his parents meant that he really wanted something serious. There was one detail that made Sophia anxious, Elliot's family was very wealthy. She was afraid that her in-laws would not think she was good enough, but her boyfriend had told her to relax and that what mattered was that they loved each other. The problem was that the day would not start off very well. A tall, well-dressed man entered the restaurant, carrying an aura of power and arrogance that left Sophia a little intimidated. He sat at a table in the corner of the establishment and looked at Sophia with a superior gaze. The restaurant where she worked was a high-end one, so in a way, she was even used to this type of arrogant customer. Sophia approached the man's table, trying to ignore the uncomfortable feeling he gave her. But when she got close enough to take his order, the man abruptly interrupted her. Isn't there another waitress to serve me with more class? A more elegant one? Asked the self-important man. Sophia, who had already heard almost everything, simply replied. I can call another waitress if you prefer, sir, but it might take a while because we're fully booked today, she said, forcing a smile. Just go ahead, I don't have time to waste, said the arrogant man. Sophia was already used to these self-important customers, but unfortunately, the winds were not in her favor. When she went to serve the soup, which was the appetizer, she spilled it on the customer's suit. At that moment, the man felt justified and called the chef and management and ranted. I can shut this place down with one call. You should fire this incompetent, classless girl who serves here. You should fire this low-class waitress. Unfortunately, Sophia listened to everything silently, as well as receiving a stern reprimand from her boss. Sophia was not fired after that whole scandal because she was the best waitress the restaurant had, but without a doubt, that day was horrible. Her boss concluded by telling her, be careful, that's Jordan Myers. One call from him, and we're closed, you hear? During the rest of the day, she tried to maintain her composure, but the words of the rich man left her devastated. She continued to serve customers with the same smile as always, but now with a little more difficulty. That night, Sophia's life would take an unexpected turn. She was excited to meet Elliot to finally forget about her bad day. They had met a few months ago at college, and he had finally invited her for a special dinner. When she entered the house, she greeted her boyfriend's mother with a smile, trying to appear confident and at ease. However, she was met with a very unpleasant surprise. Her boyfriend's father was Jordan Myers, the same wealthy man who had humiliated her at the restaurant earlier that day. Sophia teared up at the sight. Jordan Myers and Elliot Myers. It's too much of a coincidence, how did I not figure it out? She thought. So, you're the waitress I encountered at the restaurant yesterday, said the wealthy man, with an ironic smile. Well, I had hoped my son would have chosen a better girlfriend than this. Sophia swallowed hard, trying to maintain her composure. She knew she couldn't show weakness in front of this arrogant man. So you two know each other? Elliot asked. Yeah, he was at the restaurant where I work earlier today, Sophia replied and then addressed Jordan. With all due respect, Mr. Myers, what I do with my life has nothing to do with what my boyfriend thinks of me, she said, her voice firm. Jordan laughed, shaking his head. You're a waitress, dear, he said, with a tone of disdain. You have no class, no education, and none of the money my family has. How can you think my son would want to be with someone like you? Sophia felt anger rising in her head. 
She couldn't believe this man was talking to her this way. I'm not here to talk about money or social class, nor to take advantage of anyone, she said, her voice louder. I'm here to have dinner with my boyfriend and meet his family. If you can't treat me with respect, then I'd rather leave. Elliot tried to intervene, attempting to calm the situation. Dad, you're being unfair, he said, tears in his eyes. Sophia is a wonderful person, and I love her for who she is, not for what she has or where she comes from. Jordan looked at his son with disdain, feeling he had lost control of the situation. You have no idea what you're talking about, he said, his tone bitter. You think you can just choose someone who's not on your social level, and everything will be fine? He turned to Sophia and said, What's the matter, girl? Are you pregnant? How many months along are you? Here's what we'll do. I'll write a check for a large amount for you to disappear from our lives and never bother our family again. Sophia looked at her boyfriend, feeling he was on her side. I'm not a commodity you can simply buy with money, she said, a serious expression on her face. I'm a person with feelings, dreams, and aspirations. I don't need money to be happy. I need love and respect. Jordan shook his head, feeling defeated. I won't stay here to watch this. I'd rather leave. She became outraged and returned the engagement ring to her boyfriend, saying she didn't want to be part of that family. The son, in turn, was also furious with his father's attitude and decided to distance himself from him. You can't simply humiliate my girlfriend like that, he said, with tears in his eyes. She is a wonderful person, and I won't allow you to treat her this way. My son, this girl is not for you. I already told you to meet Madeline Tucker, the daughter of an oil magnate, or Georgia Hoffman, the daughter of a banker. Those are the women for you, not a waitress. Enough, Dad. I don't want to be near you anymore. You disgust me. I'll work even if I have to sweep the streets, but I'll work far away from you, who values money above all else. I'm leaving this house, I'm sorry, Mom. I just want to see how far this adventure goes, said Jordan. Daisy, Jordan's wife, and Elliot's mother tried to calm the situation, but she couldn't. The fight escalated, and everyone at the table left with hurt feelings. Elliot also left the house. Before going to bed, Jordan was reflecting on everything in his office, and Daisy brought him a snack. I thought you might be hungry, so I brought this for you, she said, placing a hot dog on her husband's desk. What is this garbage? A greasy hot dog? Have you gone mad, Daisy? He asked. I'm not crazy, Jordan. I made this hot dog to remind you that when you were a mall security guard and I was a store saleswoman, this is what made you happy. What? Asked the husband, startled by his wife's response. Have you forgotten, Jordan? When we met, we were both poor and had no money for anything, said Daisy. But it was very different, my love, replied Jordan, embarrassed. But who said I needed to be rich to make you happy and for us to achieve success? Look where your petty thinking has led you. Look at this hot dog and remember how much happier it made you and brought more genuine people close to you than these expensive dinners that have only pushed people away," said Daisy, leaving her husband to ponder. The next day, Sophia went to work at the restaurant, still shaken by the previous night. She tried to focus on her work but was struggling to concentrate. Meanwhile, Elliot started his life away from his father, getting a job at the same restaurant where Sophia worked. She told him not to talk to her, but he insisted on trying to apologize and explain the situation. He felt guilty for the fight between his family and his girlfriend and wanted to show that he still cared about her. I'm sorry for what happened, he said, approaching Sophia. My father had no right to talk to you like that. I wanted to do something to prevent that situation, but I didn't know what to do. Sophia tried to stand firm, but the presence of her ex-boyfriend made her uncomfortable. She didn't want to talk to him, not even to apologize. There's nothing you can say or do that will change what happened, she said, 
with a bitter tone in her voice. I don't want anything to do with your family, and I don't want anything to do with you. The waiter was disappointed but didn't give up. He continued to work hard at the restaurant, trying to make amends for what had happened. Over time, he learned to make new friends and fit in better with the team. Coincidentally, the restaurant's manager asked Sophia to train the new waiter, not knowing they had been dating. At first, she refused to help him, but eventually, she gave in and taught him patiently and diligently. Elliot's first day at work was tense, but Sophia and the other co-workers tried to help and welcome him. At the end of the day, as they were preparing to close the restaurant, the manager asked Sophia and the new waiter to serve a table that had just arrived. But when they went to serve the customers at the table, it was Mr. and Mrs. Myers. Jordan looked at his son with disdain, but he was surprised when he asked to speak with him privately. The father agreed, curious about what his son wanted to say. The son explained to his father that he no longer wanted to be part of a family that treated people with disrespect and arrogance. He returned the car and credit cards his father had given him, saying he would rather support himself than live off someone so mean. The father was shocked by his son's attitude and began to reflect on his own actions. That's when his wife asked the chef to prepare a hot dog, and in the middle of the father-son argument, she appeared, bringing another hot dog. Elliot didn't understand, but Jordan began to cry uncontrollably. Jordan finally understood what was happening. He realized he was behaving like the people who had humiliated him when he was a club security guard years ago, and he didn't want to be that person. He then went up to the stage, took the microphone from the singer who was performing, and said, You know, in the past, I was a mall security guard, and my wife was a saleswoman. We both were humiliated a lot, and I swore to myself that no one else in this life would humiliate me. Our main fun was eating a hot dog. That's what our money could afford. I prospered, got rich, but became arrogant. I went from being humiliated to being a humiliator. And today, I see that I only push people away because of my arrogance. Today, I see that the woman who should be by a man's side is not a woman with money, but a woman willing to face life's struggles. And that willingness, Sophia, I saw that you have to face. Son. Forgive me. I tried to protect you too much and ended up pushing you away. Sophia's co-workers watched the scene in admiration, seeing a man who had transformed in front of their eyes. They applauded when the man finished speaking, and Sophia smiled at him, feeling that she had finally been recognized. Starting from that day, Jordan began visiting the restaurant more frequently, but this time, as a friend and a friendly customer. He would chat with the staff, listen to their stories, and care about their lives. He learned to value the simple things in life and be more grateful for what he had. Sophia continued to work at the restaurant, but now with more confidence and self-esteem. She knew that she had faced many challenges but had come out stronger from them. She continued her studies, and one day opened her own food business, which became a success all over town. Elliot also found his way. He masterfully managed his father's business. He knew his father had many flaws, but he also knew he had been given a valuable lesson in what not to do in life. If we can cultivate empathy, humility, and respect in our lives, we will be able to create a better world for all of us. And, who knows, one day we may all sit together at a restaurant table, sharing a meal and celebrating life. And so we conclude another exciting story on our channel highlighting Sophia's inspiring journey and the importance of standing firm in your beliefs. Have you ever faced a situation similar to Sophia's, being humiliated by an arrogant customer? If so, share your experience with us in the comments. We'd love to hear your story. Please show your support by leaving a like and subscribing to our channel. Together, we will continue to bring amazing and inspiring stories like this to you. Until our next video and thank you for being with us.